Hello, Father's Law coming to you here on the eve of Advent. And uh, we prepare for Christmas, but we certainly don't want to ignore those very four important weeks. They only come once a year. And the time of Advent just seems so short. And in this regards, I think it gives us a special opportunity for us to kind of feed ourselves spiritually in a very unique way. And I'd like to do this for the next couple of weeks. Rather than focus uh, exclusively on the scriptures uh, like I usually do on Sundays, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next four weeks and I'm going to give a program on the Eucharist. The United States bishops really recently put out a draft of a Eucharistic document and I've been reading through it. It's not very long. It's only about 30 pages, but there's a lot of real good, rich uh, ground there from which we can kind of mine some, some very rich fruit. So I want to do that on the, uh, on the Sundays. And then on the porch talks, what I like to do is I like to really focus on, on Advent. Uh, there's a book that I was reading recently on Advent and with Advent Reflections. And in that regards, what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to really focus on in that particular season of preparation for Easter and the special spiritual character that is Advent. And I'm hoping both between the Sundays and the porch talks, this will be a time where this Advent season will be especially and spiritually enriching for you. Enjoy your day. Well, there's a lot coming to you here from uh, Valley Forge National Park. It's a beautiful fall day, and I decided to do a recording out in nature this time. I'm uh, reading Matthew Kelly's book, Life is Messy. And what I really like about it is he packs a lot into each chapter. The chapters are short, but nevertheless, he's got some really great theological premises on which he, he bases his, uh, his thoughts. Uh, one of the things he has in a chapter is called Slow Down. And he talks about a couple of times in his life when he just was incredibly busy and almost too busy. And he ended up hitting a wall, having a kind of a nervous breakdown, for lack of a better word. And from that, he ended up learning that sometimes uh, you really can overextend yourself. This is what he says. He was in the midst of one of these times, and he was praying. And this, what he heard from the Lord was, quote, You are way over the speed limit of your life. and You need to slow down. Another phrase I've heard is uh, outrunning your grace. He said, look, life isn't a race. And so many times I meet people and they say, hey, I got it. But they don't. And we don't. We continue to rush around like maniacs. But here's the real problem. The real problem is we think of life as a race. And every step sideways or backwards or a little detour, we panic because we think it's a waste of time. He said, look, life is like a dance. Dancers move forward, they move backwards, they move side to side, but they uh, certainly aren't moving forward at a breakneck speed all the time. And what you end up is you having something that looks like poetry in motion. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, last week, Jason Carter talked about St. Monica 100, where we are saying, wouldn't it be great if 100% of the people at St. Monica were uh, involved or engaged or uh, or somehow connected with the parish in some way not necessarily ministry ministry is when you're doing something for somebody else it could be it could be other things um, a couple of uh, people said like for example um, what it could be devotions uh, it could be groups like walking with purpose that man is you it could be something like the uh, like the people who write our intercessions or uh, adoration or something like that but just if everybody were somehow engaged in the parish in one of those four pillars and trying to encounter Christ through word through liturgy through charity and through community uh, but the, here's the here's the catch that does not mean that Jason or I or anybody else is saying that you have to start cranking it up and be on the treadmill chasing the cheese that's not the point you have to make sure that you don't outrun your grace and you've got to make sure that you are not over the speed limit of your life. That is really critical now as we get into Thanksgiving and we start going into Advent and into Christmas because it can really accelerate and trying to do more is not what God's will is for you. It's certainly not during the Christmas and Advent season when he wants to spend more time with you and not uh, seeing you just wearing yourself out. So uh, think about it. Uh, if you want, pick up uh, Matt's, uh, Matt's book. I think it's a good read. 
uh, light reading, but uh, rock solid theology. And, uh, and I wish you a very restful night and a peaceful day. God bless.